Okay, now it's time for exercise 6A of uh, getting to know ArcGIS desktop updated for ArcGIS 9.3 um, using the second edition. Uh, I'll go ahead and start the Arc map. In, in chapter 6, we will be looking at classifying features by, by the quantitative values rather than any, any uh, specific value. So uh, we'll be classifying them um, using an existing map. Um, 6a. And again, this, going back to the Africa um, atlas, um, and this time we will be looking at population. Again, you'll see population here. Look at the layout view, we're going to switch over to the data view. And let's take a peek at the data that we have for these countries. So go ahead and right click on countries and then go to Open Attribute Table and you'll see the data that we have for for these countries. Um, you'll notice the, the, the polygons, the name of the country, uh, square kilometers, population for different years. Let's go ahead and look at the population 2000 which we'll be using to classify. Niger Nigeria uh, is a largest country. It's, it's double the population of, of Ethiopia which is the second most popular, populous country. And that's just an interesting uh, fact. Nigeria. So we want to classify these. And in s so as you see in step 5, we'll go ahead and um, double click on the countries and look at the symbology. Last time we looked at categories because we, we wanted to classify them by their unique values. This time we want to look at the quantities, the, the measured or the given data that's given behind it. Uh, you can do that in four different ways. Uh, we will be doing graduated colors. Uh, that's each country uh, population for this color ramp. Low population means yellow. High population means red. Graduated symbols means that a symbol, the larger the symbol, uh, the larger the country. This is one for each polygon. And the dot density, which as you see in the preview panel, um, is represented by dots. But these are randomly generated uh, per polygon. Uh, this is just a polygon divided into some polygons. So we're going to do ca graduated colors. And that is in, in shown in step 7. We will choose to look at POP 2000. That's the census data for uh, African nations in the year 2000. Um, go ahead and keep this as it is. Uh, that is the, the five natural five classifications uh, defined by natural breaks. We'll be playing with those later. Um, and these are divided uh, by natural breaks in the data, and it and it shows in these five categories automatically. Go ahead, click OK. So, so as you see, Nigeria is. Uh, it's the only only nation that's in the, in the last category, and when you're when you're showing representational data, um, you you will want to play around a bit to uh, to see you know what's the best way of showing um, the best way of showing uh, a map. So let's try another example. So in in step ten, uh, going back to what the book book is. Go ahead and double click again on, on the country and play around a little bit to learn more about these graduated colors that we can use. Leaving the color scheme as it is, we'll, we'll hop on over to the, uh, the histogram, uh, which you get to by clicking on the classify button. Okay, this brings up um, a histogram. It's the histogram in the, which is in the lower half of the of the classification window. Uh, the histogram is a, is a chart of the data uh, that is under the POP2000 field, population 2000 field. The columns, uh, each column, uh, each part of the column is, is, uh, is here, shown here as 100. You can also change it to 20 so that each subdivision is 1 20th or 4% of the full population, 
just to give you a general sense of um, the day that you're looking at. Uh, you, uh, that's step 12. Uh, step other things that you can do is, is to to change the classification method. And what is standard is the natural breaks, also called Jenks classification. But another one would be equal interval, which would be to divide a uh, divide the data up into equal intervals. So the steps in between the breaks are exactly the same. You could also take it down to three classes. So you have one, two, three classes. And let's see how this will change the data by clicking on OK and Apply. So as you see now, we have uh, three, and only one is in the highest category, Nigeria. Two uh, are in the... Um, are in the middle category, which are um, Egypt and I believe Ethiopia. And let's just see if I'm correct. Just to show it. Yes, that's Ethiopia. And well, that's not too satisfying. It's just one big yellow blob and then no differentiation. So we'll want to play with those classifications again. Um, so as Buchs mentions, uh, you can look at the quantile method. You can choose instead of equal interval quantile. Quantile means that approximately even amounts of, uh, of the population are spread out throughout the categories, meaning that about the same amount of um, of, con of population is, is in here. So these one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven countries. Uh, have one have one third of the population. This is the middle third, and this is the lower third. And let's see what happens if we do that. Well, now we have too much red, um, and it's very evenly spread out. But uh, we, since we know that Nigeria has twice the population of Egypt, um, they were not representing the data. Um, you know, as we as we as we possibly could. So let's go back to classification. Uh, we probably need to have even more than three. Let's let's choose seven. Seven classifications. Um, now we're going to step seventeen. This is shown on page one forty-four. Seven classifications, and and uh, change it again to the natural breaks, so that. Uh, the statistics looks at natural breaks in the populations and see what we can see. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Uh, we still only have one country that's in the highest category, Nigeria, but there's more gradations and there's possibly is more better representation. The only thing that's a little bit annoying still is that if you look at the key, uh, the data is messy. Um, very confusing. I don't know, is that 29,000 or 291,000? Is, uh, is this 16 million? Is it 161 million? We're missing uh, the thousand separators. So how do you do that? You go back to the layer property menu and you click on the uh, label column, just directly click left click, and select format labels. Uh, here you can change uh, the category that's numeric, so we'll keep it that there. Uh, we have zero decimal places because there's no decimal values. Uh, you can change the alignment if you wish, but what we really want is we want to show the thousand separators, um, which would, had not been not been clicked on. And you see here immediately uh, in the preview that the uh, the thousand separators have been added. For me, this is a, a European uh, license. Uh, I'm living in Europe, of course, and so the 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 separators are, are decimals, but of course U.S. licenses will have commas. Go ahead and click OK. Now, the, the key is fine. Uh, I like the representation as it is here. Um, and we can go ahead and make sure that looks fine. Here we go. So, 
that's it for um, that's it for exercise 6a uh, if you would like to save your data um, please please go ahead and move on to exercise 6b